Cause you would have known about just like the good. Oh, God. Something simple's got a lot to answer for. You should stuff your ears with cotton wool. I'd rather stuff his mouth with cotton wool. He's just run through the top 20 of about 1930. That was the top 20. Imagine what the bottom 20 must have been like. Right. Right. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What the bad would get you? Right, enough is enough. You're driving me crazy. He'll think it's a request. What? You. You're driving me crazy. What's the matter with her this morning? She doesn't like the sound of your voice. Well, how do you think I feel? I was stuck in there with it. <laughs> oh, dear. It's going to be one of those wonderful weekends. The sun is going to be shining, and all the women will be at my feet saying, Take me, take me. You'll be ready for them. What? You'll be ready for them. Oh. <laughs> so, listen, what wonderful concoction have you created for my jaded palate this morning? Oh, fantastic. Who else could have thought of that? So why are you so lively? Oh, just the sheer joy of living, you know. Just the pleasure of actually being alive. And uh, two tickets for the Southampton match this afternoon. Oh, football. But don't dismiss football like that. It's a very, very clever game with a lot of intelligent people involved. Who are they playing? Arsenal. load of rubbish. <laughs> actually, Chrissy likes them. Yeah? Yeah, especially that one with the curly hair. George Thingy. Armstrong. George Armstrong. No. George Charlie. Him. Yes, yes, yes. Personally, I think it's a really silly game. What? Oh, no, you'd like it if you played. Just imagine being chased by 11 butch men. <laughs> oh, wouldn't mind that. Oh, uh, we'll try to dispossess you, and then scoring. <laughs> <laughs> They'd have to catch me first. <laughs> yes, you're doing very nicely, aren't you? I think we're going to need a new pot for you soon. These roots are going to need a lot more room than this. Is this a private conversation, or can anyone join in? Scientists have proven that plants respond to the sound of the human voice. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> hello. Hello, boy. No, nothing. Not ever a wiggle of his leaf. Look, you can take the mickey if you like. I thought I was. <laughs> but this particular ivy has done a lot better than that one over there. Oh, yes. Well, that might have something to do with the cat next door. I mean, it's always cocking its leg. Cats don't cock their legs. The one next door does. <laughs> oh, I mean, look. You ask Ivy. I mean, <laughs> but she's suffered, hasn't she? Haven't you, poor little thing? <laughs> Listen, do you fancy coming to football match? Southampton? Certainly not. What? Not even with me? Especially not with you. The language when the other side scores. Oh, no, I promise, I promise not to listen. Not me, you! Listen, <laughs> science has proven that the Southampton players respond very nicely to the sound of the human voice. Besides, there are too many fights at football matches these days. No, no, no. I mean, it's only high spirits. You just have a bit of a laugh with them, you know, have a bit of a sense of humour. And I mean, if that fails... What? Well, kick them in the cobblers and run for it. <laughs> That's precisely the sort of language I mean. Hmm? I'm sorry. Oh. I'm so sorry, I didn't think you were listening. <laughs> oh, come on, Chrissy. It'd be a great game. Fifth round League Cup, Arsenal. Arsenal? Yeah, you know, with uh, George, Charlie and Thingy and everybody. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah? Why me? Well, I thought, you know, we might sort of stay the night. You know, we could sort of find some small little place. <laughs> it's not a very good idea at all, is it? No. We'll get a return train. We'll get a return train. <laughs> On the other hand... Yeah? We could borrow the Roper's car and go in that. What exactly are your plans today, George? I mean, apart from falling asleep on the sofa this afternoon. Yeah, well, I might stroll down to the pub lunchtime. Mm. Uh-huh. And tonight? Oh, there's a good film on the telly. Oh, so it's going to be our usual fun-packed Saturday, then. <laughs> oh, Dongo, it's called. <laughs> Rhonda Fleming, Macdonald Carey, showdown on safari between a trapper and a tempestuous lady vet. <laughs> I think I'll clean out the coal so it'd make a nice train. <laughs> it's only in black and white, mind. George, it's always in black and white. You've only got black and white. <laughs> yeah, well, I know, but I mean, it sort of adds to it if you know it's in colour. Yeah, any sign of that postman yet? He doesn't come here till ten, George. Now, George, my sister has had colour television for six years. Oh, yeah, well, there's still a lot of technical problems with them, Mildred. Well, such as what? Well, there's the 80 quid deposit for the staff. <laughs> <laughs> you okay, know, I've got the rental on this one down to three bob a week. Well, the way I see it, next year they'll have to start paying us. <laughs> She's got a 26-inch screen. She can change channels without moving from her armchair. Yeah, well, so can I. Why? I'll get you to do it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sounds like the postman. Oh, yes, Here, don't let him see you. He's still waiting for his Christmas <coughs> box. So is the little newspaper boy. And the dustman. 
Ooh, he is a mingy little toad. <laughs> it's a ride, Mildred. I thought it would come today. Yes, George. <clears throat> you know, this, uh, this hairpiece is going to make a difference. <laughs> well, I mean, a, a toupee can take years off a man. Yes, George. Well, come on, open it up. Put it on, let's see it. Yeah, well, promise you won't laugh. Oh, George, of course I won't laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's your friendly neighbourhood scrounger. Any coffee, gun? Oh, do come in. Oh, no. oh, go away. Push off. Oh, that's what I like, a nice friendly welcome. Well, I mean, what do you expect? You're always on a borrow. Oh, come on, be fair. I'll give you things and all. Here, what was it I gave you last week? Flu. <laughs> uh, no sugar for me. I'm sweet enough. Oh. As I was saying, we'll live about midday and we'll take the Oh, you, uh, you decided which hotel you're going to stay at? <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. We're not staying overnight, Larry. Perhaps I'd better go out and come in again, eh? No, just don't come in at all. <laughs> Look, if he gave you the impression that we were going to oh, stay No, 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 nothing like that. <laughs> Should be a good match, he said, changing the subject quickly. <laughs> oh, uh, George! It says here you can swim in it. <laughs> That'll be interesting. You couldn't swim before. <laughs> oh, what do you think, Mildred? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's not bad, is it? I mean, for £12.50, including tax. You mean you tacked it on? Well, you've got more now than you have when I first met you. Uh, you can't see the join. Well, you don't have to. You're dark brown on top and bright ginger at the sides. Uh, it takes years off me. It's, it's weird, George. You look sort of different. Well, of course I look different. I mean, this is the real me, younger. I mean, you've got a little old face peeping out from a young age. Yeah, well, it, it's always held me back being bald, you know. I mean, I've tried everything. Do you remember when I rubbed my head with a raw onion three times a day? <laughs> yes. I do remember that, George. Yeah, yeah. and the fertiliser. Yeah, I remember the fertiliser, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, waste of time, all that. I should have got one of these years ago. Yeah, look, it's, it's a good match, isn't it? Practically undetectable. <laughs> now it's your chance to find out. <laughs> hey, yeah, don't get I'm not making it. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, come in, love. Hello. Oh, thanks a lot. Uh, I just popped down, actually, to ask if Robin and I could possibly borrow your car this afternoon. Oh, I should think so, dear, yes. What do you think, Joel? <laughs> <laughs> what, what for, exactly? Well, we thought that we might drive down to... to... <laughs> uh, well, we, th we thought we'd uh, drive down to... Uh, to, um, <laughs> the, the, to Southampton to, uh, to see Arsenal. Well, it's a long way to drive, isn't it? Oh, well, yeah, yeah, but it's, um... It's a good match. What? Well, what's a good match? Um, a game. Oh, yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, oh, good, good. Come on, George. Don't keep her in suspense. Oh, I mean, are you going to tell her or aren't you? Tell her what? <laughs> Whether she can have the car or not. Oh, that... <coughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. Oh, marvellous. <laughs> well, uh, we should be back by tonight, so, uh... <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, thanks a lot. It's great. <laughs> Bye. Uh -oh. Bye, my love. Enjoy yourself. There you are, Mildred. I don't think she even noticed. <laughs> yeah, take the toilet roll. I wasn't going to. Good. <laughs> it's the wrong colour. <laughs> Oh, great. Listen, Larry's just gone upstairs to get to his Arsenal staff. You'll need it to uh, hang yourself when we thrash the living daylights out of you. Hey, okay. Roper's got himself a wig. <laughs> a what? A wig, a toupee, a hairpiece. He hasn't, are you sure? Yeah, I've just seen it. Perhaps it's a transplant. <laughs> Where from? I mean, he didn't have a lot to begin with. Well, I mean, there's lots of places you... Um... I mean, is, is, it, uh, is it short and curly? <laughs> there you go, then. <laughs> Oh. Well, maybe he's just let his sideboards grow and knotted them all together on top. <laughs> uh, it's a proper wig. <laughs> uh, um, well, you'll need the uh, car keys. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, 
Well, you, you, you'll, you'll have to watch the headlamps. I've rewired them. When they're on high, they're on low, and when they're on dip, they're on full beam. <laughs> You've got that, Joe, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, I thought you would, yeah. Uh, <coughs> have you, uh, have you noticed anything different about me? No. no. Yeah. Oh, no. 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 New cardigan, is it? Well, no, 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 it's not this, no. Hey, Art, this ought to keep you nice and warm. I don't know what you want to buy. God, blimey. What's the matter with you? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was, I was, uh, I just, I was just looking, oh, just looking over there. <laughs> and it's, uh, that wall over there, all that wallpaper is peeling off. It's shocking, isn't it? Yeah, it's been like that for a long time. I think we'd better go. Yeah, why not? Uh, see you later, right? Yeah. Bye. Yeah, see you, mate. Bye. See you Bye. Yeah, well, it's it's not easy to put on properly, you know. No, no. Uh, I mean, uh, I use a strong paste, you know, flour and water. <laughs> you have to fill the cracks in with polyfiller before you start. <laughs> well, otherwise it peels off. Oh, the wallpaper, yeah, yeah. Mr Roper, must ask you, is that a toupee? What, this? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, it is. Well, I'd never have known. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you coming for a drink, George? No, I don't think I'll bother today. George, you've got to go out in it sometime. I mean, you just can't wear it around the house. Yeah, well, it's windy, Mildred. It might blow off. <laughs> so, then you'll look like you usually do. I mean, it's not a pretty sight, I agree, but we're used to it. I suppose I could wear me cap. Yeah, tie a brick on top, then it definitely won't blow off. If I had a car, I could have driven down to the pub. But, oh, no, you have to go lending it to them upstairs. Oh, look, George, they're young. They want to get out and about, enjoy themselves. Ridiculous. I mean, everything looks all right, it just won't go. And perhaps if we gave it a good clean. <laughs> Could be a cracked distributor cap or something. Oh, where's oh. that? It's in there somewhere, I don't know. Ah, it could be the fan belt slipping. What makes you think that? Well, nothing, but I know where that is. <laughs> all right, try it again. Oh, no, no, hold it, hold it, hold it. That'll do, leave it. If this was a horse, I'd shoot it. Oh, look at the time. We're never going to get the ground before kick-off. Why, it could be worse. It could be raining. Yeah, well, that is true. I mean, a heavy, heavy pitch would favour Arsenal. I meant it could be raining here. Oh, I see. <sighs> I suppose you realise we could be stuck here all night. Yes, there is that. <laughs> the seats go. The seats might, but I don't. Hey, phone the AA. I'm not a member. Offer to join. It costs over five quid. The car's not worth that. No, I tell you what we'll do. We'll we'll hitch to Southampton. What, or... And leave the car here. People will think it's been abandoned. Well, it will have been. No, I mean properly abandoned. They'll pinch the headlamps and the tyres and well, things. Well, we can leave a note on the windscreen. They'll pinch that as well. Look, phone Roper. Well, no, I tell you, you what, know what's no, wrong with no, it. No, I tell you what we'll do. We'll push the car a bit further, right? We'll find some small hotel, stay the night. And you then... never give up, do you? No. Look, phone Roper. All right. What's his number? Oh, actually, he won't be at home now. He'll be in the pub. Now, see, where Southampton go wrong is they push all their forwards up, right? Mm -hmm. Ready for their long ball, mm -hmm. and the back four expose themselves. They 
What? They expose themselves. <laughs> and leave themselves wide open. They're vulnerable to a sudden attack. They would be. OK. But who is there on the Arsenal forward side who take advantage? I don't answer that because it's libelous. <laughs> In bed, George. I'll take it off in a minute. Oh, come on. Hey, careful, careful. Oh, don't panic, it's still there. Uh, how's it look? Oh, it looks all right. Sort of grows on you. <laughs> well, it doesn't grow on you, but you know what I mean. It's all right then. Oh, yeah. Well, forget about it, George. Think bald. <laughs> right, I'll have a nice, large gin and tonic. <laughs> Afternoon, Sam. Afternoon. I'll have a pint of bitter and a gin and tonic. Small. Large. Uh, yeah, large. Looks very nice. Oh, uh, yes. Ever so real. <clears throat> Thank you very much. If I didn't know, I'd never have known. Uh, look, do you mind if we change the subject? Sorry. Are you going to the little theatre next week? Oh, don't know, love. What's on? Oh, it's, um... Oh, it's that. <laughs> <laughs> the white swan. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello. Uh, I wonder if you could get uh, Mr. Roper to come to the phone, please. Who did you say? Ro George... George Roper. He's a, a little ratty fellow, about four foot three. Hey, with a toupee? Oh, yeah, and he's, he's wearing a wig. <laughs> yes, a wig. What was the name? George? Hang on. Is there a George wig in here? <laughs> yeah. Might be for you. Are you? No, no, not George Wig. George Roper. He's wearing a wig. The ridiculous curly ginger thing that... Oh, hello, Mr. Roper. Uh, it's, uh, it's Robin here. Look, 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 the car's broken down. It, it made a terrible noise and then it just stopped. What sort of noise was it? What sort of noise was it? Well, sort of, um, ka-chunka, ka-chunka, chunka. Click, 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 chugga chuck. <laughs> Ka-chunk, ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk ka chunk click 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 chuck a chuck chuck a chuck It's not a lot of help, son. Look, I know. Let him listen to it himself. Hmm? Go on, you start the car. All right. Hello? Listen, we're going to start the car so that you can hear the engine. They've got the car in the phone box with them. <laughs> Hold on. Here we go. OK. I, uh, I, uh, uh, hello? Uh, what do you make of that, son? Oh, it's a shocking line. <laughs> OK, what do you think's wrong with it? Uh, it? It's a bit difficult to say. It might be... Hello? Hello? Oh, hell. 2P. Have you got hmm? 2P? Uh, hang on. 2P. Have you got 2P? <laughs> It might be the carburetor. The carburetor, yes. Oh, blast. Hello? You'll have to strip it down. There are no tools, Mike. Ah, uh... oh, they're gone. Hey, look out! Oh, oh, it's... God. Oh, it's your fault. Why don't you turn around? Oh, it's oh, it's really wet. You want to be more careful, you stupid... All right, all right. It was an accident. Keep your air on. <laughs> It's going to start raining in a minute. Oh, we could be here all night. Not both of us, because I'm going to strangle you in a minute if you don't shut up. <laughs> you shut up! Try it again. Try it again. Suppose it doesn't work. You've got no faith in me, have you? How can I put it? No. <laughs> Try it again, please. Oh, that's it! That's it! I give up! Look, you're not a motor mechanic, you're a cookery student. OK, so you can't start the engine. <laughs> you could probably casserole it beautifully. <laughs> Coming back. Aren't they the same ones you give the B-side to? No. 
I think you're right. Look, look, if anything should happen... Yeah, uh, keep a sense of humour and have a little laugh with them. Yeah, yeah, but if that fails... Kick them in the... Yes! <laughs> look, you, you, you go to the small one, right? And I'll go, I'll go for help. <laughs> Hello there. I'm asking you to stop. <laughs> yeah, didn't we pass you about five hours ago? Okay. No, no, I didn't see you. And I mean, if I did, I certainly didn't give it. Um, we were on our way to the match and the car sort of broke down. Yeah? Missed a great match. Oh, good team, Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, good team, I see. Yeah, fresh, Southampton, 4-0. 4-0, eh? Oh, fantastic. <laughs> I thought you were supposed to be a Southampton. <laughs> Southampton? Me? Load of rubbish, Southampton. <laughs> That's a Southampton scarf. Uh, yeah, is it? Is that their colours? Oh, that's not mine. No. No, no I borrowed it off a friend of mine, uh, my, my, uh, my kung fu teacher. You know what's wrong here? You've been overeating. Your fan bill's been slipping. Hey, that's what I said. Oh, it's perish. Yeah, look at this, Mick. Oh, dear me. No, no, no oh, hang on a minute, hang on a minute. Uh, don't worry. Shit'll get you going. You should dab in with engines. Yeah, we'll need something as a temporary <laughs> fan bill. Hey, how about this South Africa scarf, eh? <laughs> Four nil. Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> It shrunk, Mildred. <laughs> George, I told you you shouldn't have dried it in the oven. I can't wear it now. It's useless. Nonsense. Give it to the budgie as a nest. <laughs> well, you never did like me in it, did you? No. I mean, that made me look ten years younger. Look, George, just think of it this way. When you took it off, it made you look ten years older. Yeah, there is that about it, I suppose. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Got the keys back. Oh, you got sorry. it going again, then? Oh, he didn't, but Mad Mick and Sid the Scratcher did. Two of the nicest Hells Angels you could ever hope to meet. Yeah, they had her tights off. <laughs> to use as a fan belt. Oh, oh yeah. uh, I think it looks really nice. Uh. <laughs> Hi. Hello, the Wanderers return. What happened? Oh, it's a long story. Oh, I'm starving. Don't ask. We didn't even get to see the match. Oh, pity. 4-0. Phew. Mind you, I reckon Radford was definitely offside when he got that third one. Still, the way he nodded that ball down, eh? Fantastic. Oh, yeah. What about that penalty? Yeah. That was just too much. Mind you, I've got a little feeling that that goalkeeper... Wait, wait, hey, 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 h